everybody, another episode of Rock My Monkey TV. Today we're speaking with uh, Van Hell or High Water. Uh, now, uh, I hate to bring up the subject right off the bat and start a little negative, but I mean, you know, the band has branched off a little from Atreyu, who actually has uh, a few name problems with uh, the movie that they're attached to. You guys picked Hell or High Water, and well, when I went to do research, I found like a different Hell or High Water in every state. Um, <laughs> did you guys? I mean, did uh, did you guys worry about that? Do you think about that? And is there? A it's one of those things. Um, I mean, with band names, there's a lot of band names out there, but um, I mean, this isn't you know your local bar band, and and it's not something that we. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm allergic. Um, Are you really? Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, there's pretty much every band name you're ever going to come across is uh, is already exists but with our band name I mean um, for us it's not something that we looked into and, and found other bands with a similar name or anything like that we just Hell or High Water was so appropriate for what we are and and where we're trying to go that it just worked for us and and um, I mean <laughs> it's 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 more than just a, a, a name it's more than just a band it's you know we're we're a family and this is something that we're gonna plan on doing for a long time and um, I think it fits us more than uh, anything else, so that's why we chose that name. Okay. Now, uh, I noticed that, uh, you know, with bands that, that get to a certain level, obviously you guys are at a certain level being on this tour, but I noticed you're still listed as unsigned. Um, now, once you guys get signed, uh, if you're going to get signed, nowadays some bands don't, um, they just continue on unsigned, but uh, once you get to a certain level, a lot of the others drop off. Um, you know, when you sign to a certain label or management company, uh, they kind of deal with the other ones. Uh, is there any plans as far as that goes, or do you guys not care? Uh, like to muscle them out of the name? That's what you mean? Uh, no, no specific plans. I was trying to be diplomatic about it, but yeah, you know. Um, yeah, no plans to do that. I mean, I, it's it's just like the mentality of the band. I, I think it works with the name. We're going to take the name Hell or High Water. Hell or High Water. Now, uh, now for those uh, most most of the people have not heard it. You guys are kind of one of the. You guys are probably the least known band on the tour right now. What? Uh, how would you describe your music to somebody who has never heard a single note yet? Uh, it's it's good old American rock and roll with a little bit of throwback to um, to me almost 50s era doo wop at times, uh, and then also a little bit of 70s uh, dual leads back when leads were cool and slick and didn't care about. Okay distortion and all these other things like you know just good guitar playing um, yeah but just to sum it up easy it's good old American rock and roll okay now uh, being unsigned uh, there's a lot of bands that will kind of do their own thing they'll they'll sign maybe to a management company they'll sign to you know they'll hire a press agent and they'll remain unsigned and just release it themselves uh, they can you know you can get on iTunes you can get on Amazon the physical distribution isn't really necessary anymore uh, are you guys gonna go that route or are you looking for a label um, at, at this point we've been fortunate enough to have a really awesome team behind us with our management and, and with our publicist and our booking agent which in my opinion and my experience you know being in this industry for a number of years now um, the parts that we have figured out are the most important parts of being a band and um, it's not about it's not about the label at all it's about the music and getting it out to people and um, we're fortunate enough to get our music out and and have that you know avenue to show people what we're doing and show people our family and show people this record and um, at this point a label is in no way a necessity for us and we're I, I think we're a really fortunate case because we've all been doing this for a number of years and and we have the the know-how of kind of how this industry works how to get off the ground and how to get past square one and and we've successfully done that in the past few months and um, the reaction from our fans on this tour especially has been so incredible and and the number of people that we've been able to reach who have no idea who we are you know, it's been awesome. Our signings have been huge every day. We're selling a lot of records. We're having fun. We're, we're able to connect with people in every market in the States at this point and Canada as well. And um, to the point to where I, I really don't see the necessity for a label stepping in and helping us out there. So uh, my hopes are that we can continue to play music and to have people come enjoy what we're doing and to, and to just jump into our family. And um, we have such a good time on stage, and, and the crowd is responding so well, and they're having fun, which is the entire point of our band. So 
at this point we're doing exactly what we want to do and, and we're able to do it, um, you know, kind of a grassroots way and it's, it's working out incredible for us. So. Now, uh, now you you guys have given hints that uh, you've been around the block a few times. Uh, what bands what bands uh, are are there that people may be familiar with that you guys have come from? Uh, we've got Brandon, our lead singer, came from Atreyu, as you brought up earlier. Uh, Joey and Kyle, uh, who's our drummer, they both were in a band called Thieves and Liars that did some stuff. Um, our other guitar player, Matt, was in a band called The Confession. Um, I just came from uh, a band called David Cook and then a band called MWK. Okay, all right. So, so I mean, no, nothing, uh, nothing major. No, no major bands, but uh, stuff, stuff that's always kind of bubbled under, bubbled uh, under the surface, maybe. I, well, I mean, I don't know. I've I've played all around the world. Uh, I've you got I've a done. Record. I have a platinum record of a wall. It's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, none of it, none of it's really. It's, that's all like in the past to us now, and we can't wait to build this to be bigger than everything we've already done. Like that doesn't, that means a lot for what I've done in my past, and I can't wait till my even higher future moments. You know. Okay. <clears throat> now uh, I, I did notice uh, in my research for the interview that the album was available on uh, on Amazon yep. as a digital download. Yeah. Uh, and are there, are you guys going to do any kind of a physical distribution? Maybe like a limited edition vinyl or anything like that. I mean. At this point, that would that'd be awesome. Uh, fortunately, like I was saying, not being tied down to a label, not having anyone dictating our future, all of that is completely in our hands. And we've been able to press our records on our own and sell them at our shows, you know, hand to hand, and, and make those relationships with our fans. And um, you know, the people that haven't been able to see us live yet can can get it online and they can download it. And um, yeah, I would love to have a limited edition vinyl. That'd be awesome, you know. And um, We'll see. I mean, a distribution would be great, but at this point, um, the entire point of our band is is getting our music out there and, and people hearing it. And, you know, there's there's ways for people to do that online. If they want to hear our music and enjoy it and let it impact them, they, they, can, they can find it and they can make that happen. And um, that's really the most important thing to us because, you know, once, once that music's in their hands, they want to come out and see us live and... and you know, be a part of our family, which is the most important part of our band. So, um, in spite of all that we've done in our past and all the experiences that we have, this new family and this new band is is something that all of us have, you know, collectively agreed that this is what we want to do and the most happy that we've been in music and, and in our lives, really. So, um, we're just really excited about that, and that's, that's what we're getting to do, you know, so. Cool. Now, now, uh, I actually something caught in my throat there. Um, I actually have a friend who runs a uh, startup called High Fidelix, who does limited edition vinyl, and uh, he actually has it so that you could, so that you could actually when you hook up through his his startup, uh, you could actually do it so that part of the money actually goes to a charity, okay. and so. Uh, so if you want, uh, if you want to look up High Fid, have your you know have your people uh, uh, give them a note about High Fidelix. You are. Well, uh, tell your people, or you tell your people, that uh, about a startup called High Fidelix. And uh, all right, cool. And uh, now wrapping up, uh, is there any uh, final words you have for the uh, the the, fan, the new fans you've met at Uproar, or just the uh, the viewers of Rock My Monkey TV? The fans have been absolutely incredible. And uh, the only thing I can and say to everyone is, thank you so much. And we're so stoked to uh, you know have the response that we're having. And we're. We're doing exactly what we want to do, and it's. I, I think our lives are ascending, so come back and hang out. All right, final question. What are you drinking? Jameson and Ginger. Thank you very much.